Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel Momming Abroad. I post weekly videos on motherhood topics and or expat related topics as I am an American mommy living in the Netherlands. Today's topic is the top 20 Dutch baby girl names that I like. Um, this was a request from a uh, subscriber and a viewer. I'll put a screenshot here. Um, she wanted to know um, what baby girl, uh, Dutch baby girl names I recommended um, on one of my other um, baby name videos. I think it was comparing Dutch and American baby names um, with each other. Uh, so you request and I give. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you would like any other related videos um, such as Dutch baby names A to Z, or if you want me to do my top 20 favorites for boys, Dutch boys, or if you want me to do any other baby related names and they don't have to be Dutch or, or American necessarily, it is a topic that I like and I enjoy. Um, so just let me know if I see that there are at least a few subscribers, like four or five, um, that are interested in a certain topic, then I will make sure that I um, do my research and create a good video for you guys on it. Um, as always, please uh, like, comment, um, and subscribe. Subscribe. Um, please also share if you like this video. Um, that would really help to um, get more people uh, to join. And um, yeah, let's get started today with today's video. Okay, so um, the viewer who requested this video uh, wanted to know about Dutch baby girl names specifically and uh, she did not um, want uh, the name Annika or Annalisa. Um, in America we would say Annalise because I think they already had people in their family with those names. Uh, so those two were exceptions that um, uh, she made. Um, I think both of those names are beautiful, so those are some extra tips for you. Um, I have tried for this video to really choose Dutch Dutch names. There are many names that um, Dutch people use nowadays, uh, such as Yara or Zoe, Zoe, um, Lara, Mila, and those are very popular names here, but they are not of Dutch origin. So I tried to choose names that are common in the Netherlands, but are also of Dutch origin for this video. Uh, I am not a professional researcher on this topic, uh, so I may say something that is not entirely correct. Most of the information that I got is um, off the internet. Some of it is um, a knowledge that I've had through other sources anyway, but uh, some of it um, maybe you know better uh, and you can write in the comment section. So my apologies in advance if I say anything incorrect in this video. I just want to start with a disclaimer. So um, the viewer who requested this, uh, she mentioned those two names. They both started with A and we currently have three young Dutch princesses here in the Netherlands. Uh, Princess Ariana, Princess Amalia, and Princess Alexia. And I don't think any of those names are actual Dutch names. Amalia is, I believe, German. There was a um, German princess uh, Anna Amalia in um, the Weimarer Republic um, a long time ago. Um, but at any rate, um, the other two, I think Ariana and um, Alexia, I definitely don't think are Germanic even. Um, but their mother is also from Argentina, Queen Maxima. Um, so they are um, also mixed nationalities, even though they are Dutch princesses. But I just thought I would throw that out there that even though those aren't necessarily Dutch names, they are names that any little Dutch girl would love to have because they are royal names. Um, let's get started with some names. I'm going to do it in alphabetical order. I do not have names for every single um, letter because um, I didn't want to do an A to Z list. I wanted to do my top 20 favorite Dutch names for girls and um, some letters. I just like names that start with those letters more or there are simply more Dutch names to choose from with um, some letters. So let's start with A. I have two A names um, that I want to mention today. The first name on my list is Anouk. Um, this is a very popular name in the Netherlands. Um, I think it's very pretty, very cute. You can Americanize or Anglify this name by um, saying um, Annie or Anna or Anna, um, but you don't even need to. The name itself, I think, is so cute, Anouk. Um, it's also uh, the name of the Dutch winner. It's a Dutch superstar, very famous, and she also 
um, represented the Netherlands at a Eurovision song contest some years ago. Uh, and the name means grace, so it has a nice meaning as well. The second name on my list is both German and Dutch. Um, a lot of these Dutch names are both. Um, I mean, Germanic tribes originally were kind of Germanic and then they kind of separated into German and Dutch, so a lot of overlap. Um, and this name is Anke, spelled A-N-K-E. Um, and it means gracious, so a similar meaning to Anouk. Um, this may not work as well in the States because when there's an E at the end, uh, an American may say Ank, um, and if they've never heard the name, so that's not really as pretty as Anka. Uh, but you kind of also have to know that, um, yeah, if you're going to choose really a, a Dutch Dutch name, then your child may have to uh, correct an American uh, who is trying to say their name. Okay, um, number three is with the letter B, and that is the name Brechtje. I think this name is beautiful. Americans may have difficulty saying it though. Um, so you could always uh, choose to go by a nickname Brie, perhaps, even though it's pronounced entirely different. Um, but you may also get people really butchering the name um, in the United States or in the UK. They may be saying like Brechtje, Brechtje. Um, but the name is Brechtia. I'm not even saying it 100% correct because I am not a native Dutch speaker. Um, it is a Germanic name and does have specific Dutch origins and it means bright. Um, so I just like it. I think it's cute. Brechtia um, or Brie if you like it. I think it's cute. Okay, name number four is um, kind of a combination of names. Um, this one is a little bit of my exception to the Dutch Dutch rule. Um, it is a Dutch variant of a Hebrew name, but I really felt um, that it was important to include this name or these different variations of this name um, because it is very common now in the Netherlands to choose one of these kinds of names that start with these two letters, E, V. So the original name is Hebrew Eve, like Adam and Eve in the Bible, um, meaning to uh, breathe or to live. And the common names, I will spell them out um, for you guys, are um, Evi or Evi, E-V-I, um, or E-V-I-E, and uh, Eva, E-V-A, in the United States, you may get a lot of different pronunciations, um, Eva or Eva, um, but Eva is not a pronunciation that most people would say in the United States or English-speaking countries because the, they would spell that with the, the letter A instead of the letter E, um, but Eva, E-V-A, in the Netherlands is very common or Evelina, Evelina, those are all very popular um, Evi, Evi, Evelina, 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 those different variations are popular here and I just think they're beautiful so I thought even though they are Dutch kind of variations of a Hebrew name uh, you may want to consider them. Okay the next letter um, I like names that start with the letter F. Anyone who knows me knows I like that, those kinds of names. Uh, so I've got a few names here. The first one um, is originally either English or French, could be either or, um, but there is also a Dutch variation on it and it is a pretty common, not super common, but common name in the Netherlands. And I will show you three different spellings for it. The name is Fay, F-A-Y, F-A-Y-E, or F E -E. Um, and that last one is really Dutch. If you really want to go Dutch with the name, F-E-E -E is the Dutch word for fairy. And that is one of the meanings for this name, fairy, um, or the name or the meaning faith, if you're taking it from the old French word. Um, so that is a nice name. And then the next name is uh, Femka. This is another name that I really love um, that I'm not sure I would choose because it um, isn't really heard of in the United States and you may get again people saying Femk instead of Femka or Femk um, and it is Germanic with Dutch roots um, and it means woman of peace and I just really love it I think it's so feminine and soft and gentle um, and graceful the next name is kind of a combination name again like the E-V Evi names um, and this is the name Floor spelled F-L-O-O-R may not go over so well in America or English-speaking countries because floor, like the ground, um, or fleur, F-L-E-U-R, which is originally French but very common in um, the Netherlands. But if you want to avoid the ground, the floor connotation, there's also floorcha, 
F-L-O-O-R-T-J-E, and also a combination of two names, Anafleur, is very common here, and I think that's beautiful. Um, you will have people saying Anne Fleur in the United States, because Fleur is difficult um, to say, also for me. Um, but Fleur with the two O's is a Dutch um, short version of the name Florence, which means thriving. So that way of spelling it is very Dutch. Um, and then Fleur, of course, with the EU is um, the French word for flower. Um, but those are um, definitely common and beautiful girl names. Okay, this next name, I kind of wrote it off. I really love this name, but I wrote it off for myself because I thought, oh, that's so American. And it turns out it's actually Dutch. And in the United States, we would pronounce this Haven. And I love this name. I really do. Haven. I think it's so beautiful for a girl. Um, but it is Dutch originally. So I guess that would be Haven or Hafen. And um, that means port, like a haven in English as well. Uh, we have a lot of English words that stem from Dutch or in German. Okay, the next word on the list is Isa. Um, this is could come from two different names, I-S-A. Um, it is a can be a short version uh, of Isabella, uh, which has many different nationalities, including uh, Dutch, or it can be from the German, uh, it could be a German origin name, Is Isa, and that could mean strong-willed, which I think is a nice, nice meaning for a name. Um, I personally used to love, love this name, but when um, a few years ago when, you know, Isis or Isa or Isol or Isol, whatever you want to call it, came out um, and really strong, not that they came out, but that they really were active uh, with terrorist attacks. Uh, they just uh, kind of the name lost its appeal for me because I kind of drew a connection between those two. So you just might, might want to think about that. And also Isis in Greek mythology is not the most positive character. So um, as much as I love the name, I'm not sure I would go with it. Okay, the next name is with the letter J, and um, she said, not Annika, but she said nothing about Yannika. So here um, there is a very popular, um, two popular brother and sister, I believe, um, children series and books and whatnot um, called Yip and Yannika, a little boy and a little girl, both spelled with J. Um, and it is a very popular, pretty name here. And I think there's a lot of options of uh, nicknames for you. And it means God is merciful and it is both Dutch and Hebrew. Um, and carrying on with the letter J um, is the name Josephine uh, or Josephine. This could be from two different names. Uh, so I've met some Dutch people with the name spelled this way. I've also met uh, Dutch people with it spelled with a PH. Um, it is the female version, it is either the female version of the male name uh, Josephine, which is the Dutch version of the Hebrew name Yosef, uh, which means he will add or grow. I believe it's referring to God. It can also be an alternative uh, spelling of the English and or originally French name Josephine with the um, PH, it has an accent in French, um, which is also, again, uh, the female version of Joseph uh, from the Bible. So I just thought that was cute and maybe a slightly different version of that name. Hi guys, you're seeing me on an entirely different day now. New outfit, new me. And um, yeah, that's life. I don't have time with a toddler to always finish making the video that I have started. So let's jump back into this list, shall we? Okay, so the next name is with a K and that is the name Katrine. This name is both Dutch and Greek and it means pure or chaste. I think there are so many good nicknames here that are completely acceptable across many different cultures. Kat, Katie, Katja, um, Trina, Rina, Ria, Caddy. So many different names that people could make um, kind of pet names or nicknames out of from this name. And it's just beautiful and the meaning is lovely. And I think it's a classic. Okay, my next name is with an L and that is the name Lika. This name uh, sounds a bit more Dutch than the others. So I was surprised either I mistyped this or I was just surprised to find out that this name is also Dutch and Greek. This is the diminutive or kind of uh, derived from the name Angelique or Angelique. The meaning is God's messenger. So I think that's beautiful. I really love the name Lika. I have met a few different Likas living in the Netherlands the last few years. And I think it's just a great, uh, a great name that you should consider. 
Okay, the next name is a really cute name. It is definitely Dutch. Um, the meaning is not so pleasant. The meaning is bitter. But if you don't care about meanings, then definitely consider this name. And that is with an M. And the name is Marlu. I think it's really cute. You could say Marley or Mara for short or Marche. Um, and it, even just itself, Marlu, it's just, it's a cute name. Okay, this next name, you may be noticing a bit of a pattern. For some reason, a lot of these names, I did not know this beforehand, uh, but that a lot of the names that I like that are Dutch are Dutch and also Greek. And this name is Norche. Norche. For the Dutch version of this name, it comes from the name Eleanor, and it means sympathy and compassion. So the meaning is really nice, the sound of the name is very nice, um, and it does have a bit of a Dutch vibe to it. Um, I don't think I've ever heard this name outside of the Netherlands, and I think it's a really nice choice. I have another um, Dutch and Old Greek name with an N, and that is the name Ninka, and this name means pure. Okay, the next name is uh, one of the first Dutch names that I came across that I really liked that sounded very Dutch and I had never heard of before, uh, like in America outside of a Dutch um, context, and that is the name Sana. I think this name is beautiful, um, but it is very Dutch sounding. Um, I think English speakers would think of a sauna where you go in where it's very warm and there's you know wood and you have coals and you it's like a hot room um, but it is pronounced differently but i think that since the pronunciation is quite close english speakers may find it a bit odd but it is a beautiful name and it means it means lily um which i think is really nice um that is because uh it is from both the dutch and danish um it's the pet form of uh, susanna which means lily and so this name can be dutch it can be um Danish as well, and also it can be Hebrew. So it is a nice name that is an international name that I generally uh, connect with being Dutch, but it can be um, from other different nationalities or backgrounds as well. The next name is kind of similar in that I think it's a beautiful name, but it's too Dutch sounding for me to really feel comfortable choosing. And it is also with an S and that is the name Stera. Stera means stars in Dutch. And it is really purely a Dutch name. Um, I do think that um, English speakers will think of stares or staring at somebody. So yeah, and if they see the spelling with an E, they may pronounce it incorrectly, um, stira or something like this, um, which isn't necessarily a terrible thing, but it is something to consider before choosing this name. I do think it is a lovely name, but yeah, you may want to be careful with it if you don't want a name that is overly Dutch. Okay, the next name is with a T and that is Trainche. I hope that I'm not butchering this and that I'm saying it correct. I am not a native Dutch speaker, so I may make some small mistakes. This name is again, we have a theme here, Dutch and Greek. It is a short form of Katerina and it means pure or chaste. This next name is a bit of a cheat name. It is not of Dutch origin, but it is extremely popular here. Um, it is actually Greek, um, and that is the name Tess, and that comes from the name Teresa, and that means late summer. So even though it is not originally a Dutch name, it is a name that is very popular in the Netherlands, so I felt inclined to include it in this list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video about Dutch baby girl names and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I will attempt to get my posting frequency back up to once a week. Um, I prefer to post less often and post good videos for you guys than trying to rush something. Um, and right now at this moment, my life is just very full with different things. Um, I hope you can understand that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps my channel out. Bye.